What's going on guys, Cecil here, welcome to Minecraft Today we'll show you how to make a door with password in this game So let's get started So yeah, this video is for you just in case you have a friend that might sneak up into your house and steal all your stuff and escape from there You know, if you have a friend that's not trustworthy that has an access uh, as a, that has access to your house and stuff Then you can actually use that method to prevent him from getting into the house Okay, let's load to the pig as well Let's load to the... There we go, exactly, exactly what I'm talking about Yeah, like I said, this is just in case you have a friend that might sneak up to your house and uh, steal everything and escape with it and the police won't come after him. I mean, there is no police in the mine in Minecraft. I know that, but uh, yeah, in case just imagine that there is police in Minecraft. I mean, another friend is a police and he can't go after him. It's just a way to actually, you know, protect all your belongings in this game from other friends, you know. Anyways, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into showing you how to make a door with password in this game after killing all these horses. Okay, let me just kill that one, and that's it. That's it. That there we go, exactly. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right to it. All right, first of all, let me look for a suitable location to make our password password door so I actually think that right here is going to be a little bit perfect you know what I, I don't know I actually want to go into a complete new world all right and make it super flat because I just don't want to be interrupted because there are there is a lot of uh, details that I want to focus on I don't want to spend the entire video you know uh, clearing area and stuff oh look at the rising of the sun I mean there is nothing special about it it's not beautiful at all it's actually kind of weird but uh, yeah it's 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 something I guess what the hell are all these animals where the hell did you come from? I kind of miss you guys. I kind of miss you because I, I actually like killing animals and I thought that the super flat world is gonna prevent me from doing that, but no, I can kill all the animals I want. Hooray! Hooray! Oh fucking ray! Alright, first of all, let me build me a wall real quick. So yeah, I'm just gonna build a wall right here. It's gonna be, you know, a cool small wall. I mean, you can actually do it in your house or something. I mean, a little bit of warning, uh, the house that you're gonna do this on, it has to have a little bit of an empty space beside it and... Uh, yeah, you can hide it later, but uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna build an entire house just to show you the damn door So uh, I'll just make a small wall right here a little bit of a cool wall. Okay, that's a little bit long So uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit enough now. Let's make the opening of the door right here This is the place where you will enter the door from now We'll have to empty a little bit of space right here I think that's gonna be enough What the hell are you doing here cow. I don't want to kill you now I'm I have work to so yeah, this space is going to be uh, enough right there and uh, yeah, I actually made the wall a little bit too tall. It doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Next thing you want to do is to get yourself a block that has nothing to do with the color of the wall itself. So let's make it orange, for example. I'm going to take the orange block and place it right here all over the place. There we go. Yeah, you need to take a block that actually has a little bit of a different color than the wall. The next thing you're gonna need is a lever or a bunch of levers actually to be more specific You're gonna need a lever and put a one in each block of the blocks that are different in color than the rest of the wall A little bit of a touch that you could do is actually get yourself a bunch of signs and place a sign above each one of them and name it a number For example, this is one, this is two, so consider this a numpad or something like that, you know I mean, consider this that it's like a keyboard or a numpad that you will actually type the password in or whatever you want to call it, calculator, whatever the fuck you want to call it, this is just a, a device that you're going to use to type the password that contains numbers in. Next thing, you're going to need a door, and it's going to be the iron door right there, and let's mm. place it right here, and this is exactly what's going to happen. There is a cow next to me. Holy shit, you're so close. I didn't realize that you're that close. What the hell is the matter with you? Okay, let's just kill. How 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 strong is that uh, iron door? Like, I'm I'm just wondering, how, how strong is that? Okay, it's, it's actually the weakest thing ever. Like, it took like a million hits. So here's exactly what's going to happen. You're going to go into your door and there is going to be a secret combination of a password that's gonna open it so for example let's make it one and three and five once you actually click on these three levers the door is gonna open automatically if you close one of them it's going to close automatically because the combination is not there anymore so yeah that's how it's gonna, that's how the password is gonna work that's how the door is gonna work with the password of a combination of your choice from this uh, freaking uh, numbers and levers consider it as your own phone lock you know so how exactly are we gonna make this combination work well we're gonna go into the back and you guessed it it's going to be a redstone stuff yay hooray gotta love redstone right gotta love redstone like right? redstone is the best thing ever in this game I mean, sarcasm aside, actually redstone is really cool because it makes a lot of things possible. But the thing is that it's kind of complicated and takes time for you to master it. So uh, yeah, that's why I was being sarcastic right there when I said 
The rest of the best thing ever. It's not the best thing. It's actually complicated, but it's also the best thing at the same time. It's complicated, but the best thing at the same exact time. Okay, first of all, let me just choose a combination that we're gonna work on. For an example, let me make it uh, one and three and five. That's the combination we're gonna work on. So yeah, we need to locate this one and three and five right there, and then place a redstone torch, uh, torch on them, right? So uh, yeah, this is one, this is three, and this is five. Okay. Next thing you wanna do is to place some blocks below the red torches or below the orange blocks or whatever you wanna call them. Then you need to place redstone between these two torches and between these two torches right there and then go all the way down into both of these between these two torches and make them meet up you know so yeah one between these two torches and one between these two torches or whatever the other combination is for example if the rest one's here then make sure that they actually uh, meet up you know so uh, yeah just make sure that it actually connects these two torches together and then get them down there and make them meet up so basically what you want to do is to make all the torches connected together by redstone whatever their locations is just make sure that they're all connected together now you need to go into the iron door and dig two blocks right here and and keep going okay i digged one here by mistake i don't think it matters to replace it but it doesn't really matter okay no matter. so uh, yeah dig two uh, holes right there in the front and then make a little bit of a stair up there and then you need to dig one extra hole inside right here also to make things easier for us we're gonna have to get rid of the door and the uh, block beside it i mean yeah you can actually make it happen with the door still there but yeah to make things easier you're gonna have to uh, get rid of the door and uh, yeah get rid of the door and yeah it's just, it's just gonna make things easier building easier now go back to the redstone and go all the way down here right like that there we go and then go right okay there we go and then go down right here and keep going down and keep going until you actually reach uh before the door before the door like uh hold on a second no you actually need to make it before the door by two blocks so yeah the door is right there and the redstone before the door by two blocks now what you want to do is to place the stone block right here there we go and then go all the way around and get yourself the redstone torch and place it right here there we go exactly okay we're done here let's just uh, cover uh, the surface of the ground with this stone there we go exactly and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't exactly like okay you cannot uh, cover this one i'm gonna be honest i don't exactly like this part right there so let me just uh, place it with uh, grass there we go and actually you know what you don't really have to cover all the uh, background right there because it's gonna be visible anyway so uh, yeah if you're gonna do it in, in inside your own house you don't really have to do that this is your house that you don't want anyone to enter so why would you care so much about you know covering everything it doesn't really make any sense however if you care so much about hiding how you did it you can actually hide all this with uh you know stones so that you can uh, if you in, just in case you did this wall and you want to impress your friends then you don't want them to see this obviously so uh, yeah you can hide it with stone or something but if you're doing this in your own house you don't have to hide anything this is your house no one's gonna see it all right now we place the door right here and then test it so uh, yeah let me just test it real quick so i'm right here i just came back to home blah, blah, blah. there we go i'm back home and yeah let's actually try at first okay it's getting dark let me just uh, make it uh, day so yeah what i was saying is that i'm gonna pretend that i'm going back home or you know what actually before that let me just pretend that i'm your friend trying to steal your house so yeah i do not know the combination so let me just click on any random numbers and as you can see it did not work the door is still shut so yeah obviously this combination did not work at all now let's pretend that i'm the owner of the house and i just came back let's use the right combination one and three and five and there we go the door opened right off exactly and i'm back home and if you want to close the door all you gotta do is to just close one of the levers and that said the door is gonna close because the combination is not there anymore even if you leave the other two open the door will still close because the combination is not right anymore so yeah any other combination is not going to work at all but the only combination that you have made which is one one, three, and five is going to work. Wanna close the door, close one of the levers, and close the other two, and it's going to work like charm. Also, there is something else I want you to know. If you actually type the combination correctly, but you actually enter another lever that is not belonging and the combination is not going to work. As you can see, I have made one and three and five levers down and this is the combination, but I actually added two with it. And since I added two with it, it did not work. And yeah, that's, that's actually something good. I mean, a lot of people were you know scared that this is actually gonna work if you open all the levers at once no that's not gonna work if you open all the levers at once you have to only open the levers that are the combination not more and not less so yeah don't worry your house is 100 percent safe with that combination right there it only opened when these three 
only opened levers at the same time. If you open one more lever, it's gonna close immediately because the combination is not there anymore, which is kind of cool. So yeah, the combination works 100%, and yeah, it's exactly like your phone, you know? Anyways, yeah, that's how I make a door with a password in this game. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also, like I said, this is a really cool method for you to protect your house from your friends, or not just protect, even if you want to just impress them with how the password combination works, you can just do that just to show them how cool you are with Redstone Minecraft. Anyways, yeah, that's how I make a deal with password combination in this game. And that's all. That's what I'll see you guys later. Bye.